Hey guys, Jamie Alec here from Able Cine, and I'm here today to show you a new line of phantom cameras called the Miro, uh, more specifically the Miro M320S. Um, it shoots full 1920 by 1080 images uh, in RAW uh, at up to 1500 frames per second. Uh, it has an ISO sensitivity of approximately 1100, and um, what's really cool is it has a HD SDI output from the rear of the camera. Um, the other really unique thing about this is its size and form factor. As you can see, it's very, very small. It fits in the palm of your hand, but it also only weighs three pounds. Um, so it just opens up a whole new world of possibilities in how you can shoot uh, high speed. You can put, you know, you can shoot handheld with it, um, put it on a steady cam very easily, put it on a very small jib, shoot sports with it, uh, put it in an underwater housing. I'm really excited uh, myself to be able to shoot some surfing uh, with this camera. Um, so yeah, it's, its size and form factor is really unique and it's what sets it apart from all the other high-speed cameras out there. Now this camera here uh, has a PL mount, but the mounts available are also um, Nikon F and also Canon EOS. And the iris ring will actually give you full control uh, of the aperture on the Canon uh, EOS lenses and uh, it'll actually tell you on the video output from the mirror, uh, it'll tell you what the f-stop uh, you're at, uh, which is a really, really cool feature. So no camera is uh, complete uh, without accessories. Now our product development department has been really busy over the past few months developing a whole range of Miro ex accessories exclusive to this camera. Um, now the first thing I'll start with is these eye, eye plates. Now we have uh, an eye plate on the bottom uh, and on the top of the camera and these eye plates essentially are like a cheese plate uh, unique to this camera and you can just fit them on there and leave them on there. Um, and you can obviously mount any uh, quarter 20 or 3 8 inch accessories uh, onto the top or bottom of the camera. And then also we have this top handle. Now this top handle um, has 15 millimeter uh, rods here on top and then this, uh, the top handle uh, on top here has this red button which uh, is a trigger which can start and stop the camera. Now we also have this unique grip which is called the X grip. Now the X grip sits on the left hand side of the camera and you can rotate it in, in any direction to whatever feels most com comfortable for your um, hand. And then on, on this right hand side we have this uh, rosette uh, which is an offset bar and you can just mount a, a hand grip, uh, whatever hand grip you like, on, onto this side. Uh, it actually feels really good even without a, an extra grip. Um, and then to power the camera uh, you have these you have this, the standard Sony uh, BP mount, so you can use the standard Sony BP mount batteries, uh, which you can, the same batteries as like on the F3 and the EX series of cameras, so you can just get a, an, a BP, this is a BPU60, and you can just plug it into the back of the um, camera, and this battery will actually run the camera for about an hour, so it's pretty impressive for, for such a small um, battery, and so yeah, you can, if, I can feel the camera, it's quite light, very easy to use uh, in a handheld configuration. Now, the next thing is workflow. The camera records to this little device here, uh, a, a new device from uh, Vision Research called the Phantom Cine Flash. Now, these come in three sizes, uh, 60, 120 and 240 gigs. And they just plug in, uh, you just remove this cover, and they just plug in, um, into the back of the camera, they just slide in like that, and away you go. Uh, they're hot swappable. Um, a 240 gig cine flash goes for about an hour, uh, recording full 1920 by 1080 uh, raw images. So uh, it, it, it gives you quite a lot of record time. And then once you you filled up the cine flash, you just pull it out and. You plug it into this little device here, which is called the Cine Flash Dock. So it just sits in here, plugs in on top, and then on the back of the Cine Flash Dock, you've got an eSATA uh, port. So um, you can just download the files um, and start working with the, the Phantom RAW files. Um, so yeah, this is the this is the Miro. Really, really excited about this camera. Um, come and check it out. We're going to have it at NAB uh, for uh, for demonstration. Uh, you'll be able to see it there. Um, otherwise, I'll keep you um, keep you updated with any future blog posts uh, as the camera gets launched.